I was settled in Sicily. And of course, there wasn't much to do there, as people have came and pillaged, and we usually help them do it. And, you know, they would leave, then other people would come and pillage, we'd help them do it, and then they would leave. Really, by that, by the time I was born, there really wasn't a whole lot left anymore. So we kind of had to go elsewhere in order to make a living. Well, we're owned, we're owned by Spain, why not go to Spain? So, I hopped a boat and off to Spain I went. And Philip was sending people to the new lands to find gold. Gold sounds good. So I signed up on a ship and off I went. And after a lot of bobbing and weaving and up and down, we landed. And of course, we went out and scavenged around. The ones with money, of course, on horseback, the rest of us, you know, just kind of trailing along with what the horse left. And we came across a city in the New World. This city had large stone buildings, different from what we'd seen before. And they told stories on their walls. This is a novel idea. You can read as you walk by. <laughs> and I was looking and looking, and then I saw this interesting little squiggly thing drawn on there. Okay, nice, interesting little squiggle. The squiggle had lines coming out from either side. Okay. So we asked. What's the squiggly thing? And they said, Guadalajara. Mm -hmm. And I said, Water, water? No, Guadalajara. The, the he is the winged serpent. <laughs> if he comes, your life is done. Okay, now note, as we're going around from city to city, watch for flying snakes. <laughs> 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 And so, we were, we were going off to the next city, uh, supposedly another one. I mean, that one, yeah, it had nice big, you know, interesting buildings, and it was fascinating and all, but there wasn't any gold. You know, it just wasn't one of the cities we were looking for, so, you know, no real point in staying there. And we were walking by, along the trail in the trees, and I just saw this little skinny thing jump from that tree over there. And the next thing my comrade saw was me jumping the other way. Because if he was coming out, I wasn't going to be there. 